My female coworker said to me, let me introduce you to the better side of life that you ain't been seeing, boy. That's crazy. Should I give her a chance? Does that mean anal? Today we are back on Quora to answer the questions of dumb f and geriatrics, my two favorite kinds of people. I did this before where we just go on Quora and answer questions. That's literally what we do. And we go through some comments, although there was not many last time that were good. A lot of the comments just fucking just make you want to jump off a bridge. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. A guy said I am off the spectrum. What does that mean? This is what happens. They give you a question that is so unbelievably stupid and I help them out. So I said that either means you're not on the spectrum at all or you're so unbelievably on the spectrum you probably broke it. Like the saying off the charts. Theoretically, they could be the most autistic person that someone's ever met and they are just so far gone Th That's a bad way to phrase it. They're so far on the spectrum that they fell off Someone else said I couldn't tell you I would need a spectrum to have an idea lol It's a good thing. It means you're lit hotter than a tire fire out of this world Keep smiling. He likes you no, I'm pretty sure he was calling you autistic. Anyways, that was a great start. Now you know how it goes. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna keep it going. I fucking love this shit. What does it mean when a man says he has everything except love? That's pretty obvious. I said he probably has everything except love. Assuming he has lots of money, he could probably just buy it. And... That's exactly right. They say money doesn't buy happiness, but it sure as hell can buy love. Prostitution? Or stripping? Strippers? You know how many times a stripper has told me they love me? That was fulfilling enough, okay? <laughs> Actually, I don't go to strip clubs. I, just, I find them to be a waste of time. Maybe I should go more. I heard they have good food. If that's the reason I'm going, I shouldn't go. But yeah, I, I know there's services out there where you could buy love. Like, you know where, where you can rent a friend? Well, can't why can't you rent a love interest? Next question. He said to me he wants me. What does he mean? <laughs> I said he definitely doesn't want you. Move on. Fucking idiot. Now, the reason I said this is because the fact that she doesn't know what that means. Die in a hole. I don't have time for this shit. Should I like someone romantically just because they like me? Yes. <laughs> I said yes. Throw all your eggs in their basket. You're probably not going to find another. Women's behavior answered no. You don't have to like someone just because they like you. Ah, cringe. I think you should force it. You should force it and see what happens. The best things in life happen when they're forced. Ooh, that's crazy. Take, okay. That was, sp <laughs> all right, we're not gonna. If they're on Quora to ask this question, then they don't have much hope going on for them. Um, and I feel like they should just fully send it. But yeah, they, I mean, clearly they're not gonna get far in life. So I think, so I think they should just go for it. It's good advice. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good question. Can you love a girl who has had can you love a girl who has had lots of sexual partners? And I said, it depends who she's slept with. Ask for names and pictures and see who you're competing with. That way, you always know who you have to look out for and keep your head on a swivel for out in the real world. I'm not just going out in the real world knowing that you'll just sleep with whomever. I'll have you know, you're not sleeping with another person once you're with me. Call me greedy. Call me a control freak. 
But I, I do, I do favor monogamy. Or if I didn't, I would be open to being with a girl and her letting me be with other women. If you're interested at all, please email me. Uh, no, but anyways, moving on. My coworker said to me, hold up, hold up, hold up. This, this is crazy right here. Sorry about the whatever. My female coworker said to me, let me introduce you to the better side of life that you ain't been seeing, boy. That's crazy. Should I give her a chance? Does that mean anal? If it does, then yes. Obviously, that's not a question you need to be asking on Quora. Anal is like... Cheese on rice. It's not meant to be there, but it works. <laughs> that's disgusting. But so is anal, all right? I don't believe in that shit. I'll be straight up with you. Haven't done that. Haven't really wanted to. I know you're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I thought you're a man. And I am. I just haven't felt the need to do it or want to do it. If the opportunity presented itself, I guess I would. But like in all reality, I'm still stuck on the poontang. I'm still on that walkie slosh. I'm still I'm still all up in those meat curtains. I don't know, dude. I just don't feel the need to do any But if I were in that situation, I would 100% be like, yes, take me away. Take me away. Take me away. Anyways, that was too much. <sighs> Ooh. My girlfriend told me she likes girls. What should I do? I said, throw a tantrum. Once you're done, ask her to prove it in front of you. Now, obviously, this would be consensual in all parties. And if she actually does it, you're about to have the best time of your life, especially if she stays with you. And if she doesn't do it, then break up with her. She's just trying to break up with you. Well, or to solve that problem, then you just need to be better in bed. <laughs> Because if she goes lesbian after you, <laughs> definitely has to happen to me. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty reasonable. Ask her to prove it in front of you. I don't believe in your sexuality until I see it. And that goes with straight people too. Like, I don't think you're straight until you have sex with me. Obviously, once we get to know each other. But then, you know, I... Like, who knows? Maybe they're into pans. They're pansexual. It's hard to tell these days. I don't know. Anyways, what does it mean if a married man tells you he loves you? Is it just words or does he truly mean it? Now we're getting juicy. Um, you're not allowed to lie about love, so he definitely means it. You can't lie about love. Like, that's the most fucked up thing you can do. I've never met someone that's lied about love. Unless, oh shit. I forgot about my ex. Well, okay. But yeah, if he if he's married and and he's and he says he loves someone, well, he's in the marriage in the first place where he's originally in love with her. So he definitely means it, right? Of course, he's in a relationship and that would be cheating, but at the end of the day, love always wins. <laughs> no, cheating's not okay. Ooh, understanding women? I know everything about women. What's every girl's weakness about a guy? I'm gonna make a list. Number one, the penis. Now, that was a typo, but I kept it anyways. That is for sure the weakness for every girl. If you don't have a penis, then... <laughs> you know? What are you doing? That's not... That's not a guy. Okay. Number two is hair. Number three is butt. 
You gotta have that. That's very important. Girls love something to grab onto. And number four is size of ears. The smaller the ears, the more uh, superior you are. And that has nothing to do with me, but my ears are very small. No co coincidence at all. Here we go. Um, can you see it? So, I, yeah, I, d I do have small ears. Uh, women tend to love that. They're like, holy shit, you have such small ears. I feel like that has to mean that your penis is the opposite. And every time I say, yeah. And then I set them up for disappointment. Next. What one thing can someone say to offend you? I don't know. I don't get offended by a lot. And then if I do get offended, I just throw it right back at them and say something that I know will fuck them up. That's crazy to say, <laughs> but not too much. Like I know my limits because I'll be honest, I could ruin someone's life probably or day at the very least. I don't do it, but I know I could, if that makes sense. Like <laughs> that's so insane. I'm, I swear I'm not, this is not in a relationship by the way. Uh, just, just in general. I mean, in a relationship, it would be different. I would be very nice. I don't know. I don't really have anything that can offend me off the bat. It just depends on the situation. So I said small ears. I'm lonely and I'm tired of it. I need a loyal woman. What should I do? Craigslist. There's not a lot of options out there. I'll be honest, dating apps have not been working for me. I know I said I was gonna stop talking to women and largely I have. There's been a few instances where I try and see if something could happen. And then I immediately get bored or the women just stop talking to me. I think I've lost a little bit of my touch, my little, you know, my pizzazz. And I also just don't want to. I kind of am making videos and really enjoy doing that right now, so. Craigslist might be your best bet. I just imagine you can easily find a woman who would murder for you. Why was I born if I don't want to live? <laughs> what? Why was I born if I don't want to live? Gotta be careful with my words here. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know what to say. So the f I said the first thing that came to mind and I said born to be wild. <laughs> I think this man needs help. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna edit it. Hold on. Okay, I said born to be wild. You should seek help. <laughs> all right, that's it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. I hope you enjoyed and uh, let me know if you like these cause I'm just gonna keep doing them no matter what. So it doesn't matter. Um, and if you don't like to comment, just like the video. I love seeing that even though it affects nothing at all except for my ego. Just give that a little stroke, a little strokey stroke. That sounded, that's gross. Um, but yeah, anyways, titties, sorry. Okay.